Now the world which is now divided over Israel Hamas war except the Muslim nation all the other countries who have extended their support to Israel and have condemned Hamas as a terror organization in every possible way Now right after US president Joe Biden Rishi Sunak the prime minister of UK has arrived in Israel and he is now expected to meet Benjamin Netanyahu and upon his arrival Rishi Sunak categorically stated that the United Kingdom stands with Israel As per the statement that has been released by Downing Street Sunak will uh, have already condemned Hamas's horrific act of terror and has expressed condolences for the terrible loss of life in Israel and in Gaza as well during his meeting with the Israeli counterpart. Suffered an unspeakable, horrific act of terrorism, and I want you to know that the United Kingdom and I stand with you. I'm looking forward to my meetings later today with the Prime Minister and President, and I very much hope that they will be productive meetings. Thank you again an unspeakable horrific act of terrorism and I want you to know that the United Kingdom and I stand with you. I'm looking forward to my meetings later today with the Prime Minister and President and I very much hope that they will be productive meetings. Thank you again. So can I ask the Prime Minister, will he join with us on these benches and call for an immediate ceasefire in the region? Mr Speaker, we believe that Israel does have a right to defend itself, to protect its people, and to act against terrorism and ensure that the awful attack that we've seen from Hamas cannot happen again. Well, UK Prime Minister's visit also comes just after US President Joe Biden concluded his meeting with the Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu yesterday, where Biden compared the Hamas attack to at least 15 9-11s that Israel has now witnessed. He said for the nations of the size of Israel, the atrocity was like 15 9-11s, mass murders and atrocities that have been committed that recall the worst ravages of ISIS, unleashing pure, unadulterated evil upon the world. There is still no rationalization about especially when it comes to no excuses that can be given, especially when it comes to the atrocities that have been committed by the terror organization. Um, I was deeply saddened and outraged by the uh, explosion at the hospital in Gaza yesterday. And based on what I've seen, it appears as though it was done by the other team, not, not you. But there's a lot of people out there not sure. So we got a lot. We got to overcome a lot of things. And my message to any state or any other hostile actor thinking about attacking Israel remains the same as it was a week ago. Don't, don't, don't. Since this terrorist attack, this terrorist attack took place, we've seen it described as Israel's 9/11. But for a nation the size of Israel, it was like 15 9/11s. Well, many of those countries, in particular the Western nations, have come out in support openly to Israel. It is not just U.S. and U.K., but France, Germany have also expended their support to Israel and also condemned Hamas's horror. La sécurité d'Israël, la lutte contre tous les groupes terroristes, mais aussi le processus de paix et la solution politique sont un tout inséparable. Et c'est cet agenda qu'il faut retrouver. Et je pense que ce moment extrêmement dur pour le peuple israélien, aujourd'hui pour les civils palestiniens, tous les États européens sont vulnérables. Et il y a un retour en effet de ce terrorisme islamiste. Et nous avons tous une vulnérabilité, c'est celle qui va avec des démocraties, des États de droit, où vous avez des individus qui à un moment peuvent décider de commettre le pire. Ausdrücklich war nicht, kein Akteur sollte es für eine gute Idee halten, nun von außen in diesen Konflikt einzugreifen. Es wäre ein schwerer, ein unverzeihlicher Fehler. In den vergangenen Tagen haben wir diese Botschaft über verschiedene Kanäle an jene übermittelt, an die sie gerichtet ist. Israel's ambassador has slammed Hamas in a fiery address and has called for a decisive action. He said that the goal of Hamas is the goal of annihilation of Israel. And if Hamas has the opportunity to commit these atrocities again, 
they will and you will know it already. Where he concluded saying that the only solution to stop Hamas and to ensure that such atrocities will not be repeated is complete obliteration. Meanwhile, the Palestinian UN ambassador has also lashed out at Israel, accusing it for killing civilians. And he's reiterated his stand saying that Palestinians claim that Israel is actually solely responsible for the airstrikes that was carried out at the Gaza hospital, which it claims kind of had uh, claimed the lives of hundreds of people. Thousands of barbaric Hamas Nazis invaded Israel and brutally murdered 1,400 innocent Israelis as they slept, celebrated, hugged their families in fear, and cried for mercy. Some were raped, others beheaded, and some were burned alive while bound and gagged. Hamas deliberately, deliberately, targets civilians and massacres children when given the chance. This makes Hamas a terror organization, no different than ISIS. There is only one solution to curing a cancer, and it is the evisceration of every cancerous cell, just as was done with ISIS and Al-Qaeda. Complete obliteration. This is the only way to ensure such atrocities will never be repeated. It is beyond belief that some still speak of a right to self-defense of an occupying power that has made clear it is seeking blind vengeance, forced transfer, and annihilation of our people. The hospital massacre had such an impact on global public opinion that it had to change tactics and change its original story into a new one. So Israel will deny responsibility for the massacre in the Baptist Hospital Al-Ahli. Well, while the West is rallying behind Israel, the Muslim countries have now extended their unrelenting support to Palestine, where Organization of the Islamic Cooperation of the OIC held an urgent meeting in Saudi Arabia's Jeddah to discuss the escalating tensions. And during the meeting, Iran called for the Islamic countries to sanction Israel. The foreign minister has called for an immediate and complete embargo on Israel by the Islamic countries, including oil sanctions, in addition to expelling the Israeli ambassadors if relations with the Zionist regime has been established. چه امروز امت اسلامی و مردم دنیا انتظار دارند آن هر چه سریعتر از وی رفتن محاصره و رفع محاصره مردم غزه و امداد رسانی سریع به مردم غزه است اون چه مردم ایران و امت اسلامی در جهان و آزادگان جهان انتظار وتهيئة الظروف المرائمة باستعادة مسار السلام بما يكفل الحقوق المشروعة للشعب الفلسطيني ويفضي إلى سلام عادل ودائم يساهم في تحقيق الأمن والسلم الإقليمي والدولي